Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this integration and we have to solve it by reversing the order of integration. What is meaning of reversing the order? Basically, when we have double integration, we have a strip either parallel to y axis or x axis. If the given strip is parallel to y axis, we need to uh, consider a strip parallel to x axis and we have to solve the problem. Otherwise, or in a second way, if the given strip is parallel to x axis, we have to consider parallel to y axis and we have to solve the problem. So let us start to work on this problem. Okay. As you can see here, we have the inner integration with respect to y. So these are limits of y. The outer integration with respect to x. So these are limits of x. So therefore, I can mention, therefore, region is bounded by, is bounded by x is equal to 0, the first curve, x is equal to a, y is equal to 0, and the last one is y is equal to root a square minus x square. The region is bounded by these four curves. x is equal to 0, this is equation of y axis, x is equal to a, a line parallel to y axis, a line parallel to y axis, getting? So let us draw the diagram simultaneously so we can easily understand y, is, y axis that means x is equal to 0 is here getting x is equal to a suppose a is somewhere here so we have a line parallel to y axis so this line is x is equal to a next y is equal to 0 this is equation of x axis so y is equal to 0 and this equation we have, but see there we have a square root. So to remove square root first, I will take square of both sides. If you take square of both sides, we will have y square is equal to a square minus x square. Basically, it is an equation of circle, but let us write it in its standard form. Let us shift x square on this side. So x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is equation of standard circle. So its center is 0, 0. And will you guess its radius? Its radius is a. So its radius is a. So let us draw the circle center 0, 0 here and radius a. A we have already taken here. So we have a circle like this. This is my rough sketch. Okay, so this is a circle we have. So the region is bounded by y axis. The region is bounded by x axis. The region is bounded by x is equal to a as well as the circle. So obviously the region is this one okay this is a region we have so let me mention equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square in short i have written getting so this is the region we have over the given strip the parallel to y axis since the inner integration with respect to y so this is a given strip but see we have to change the order of integration that means reversing the order of integration i need to draw a strip parallel to x axis since the given strip is parallel to y axis. Let me mention to change the order of integration, order of integration, consider a strip parallel to x axis. Okay, so let me draw one rough sketch here. Suppose this is a circle we have whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to a square a comma 0 0 comma a same region we have but this time the strip is parallel to x axis. So it will be like this getting. So this is y axis equation is x is equal to 0 x axis equation is y is equal to 0. So with the help of this strip we have to find a new limits now. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let us continue it here. So this time the strip is parallel to x axis. So that's why I should write x varies from first. x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to then y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to. Okay. So strip is like this, our funda is bounded below, bounded above. After that, we have to move a strip from bottom to top in this way to cover the entire region. 
So yes, so strip is bounded below by this axis, y axis whose equation is x is equal to 0. The strip is bounded above by a part of circle whose equation is like this. But see, I should write x is equal to. What is the equation of circle? x square plus y square is equal to a square. It means x square is equal to a square minus y square. Let us take root of both sides. So x is equal to root a, a square minus y square. So in this way, I got the limit of x, which is a square minus y square. This was my rough work. So let us remove. Uh, after that, we have to move straight from bottom to top. In this way, the strip should move. Okay. So at bottom, it is bounded by y is equal to 0. And at the top, to cover each and every corner of a region, it should go, strip should go up to this point where the value of y is a. So y is equal to a. So in this way, I got the limit. So let us solve i is equal to inner integration. Let me write a function a square minus y square raised to 3 by 2. The inner integration with respect to x now, since this strip is parallel to x axis, outer integration with respect to y. What are the limits of x? This one, 0 to root a square minus y square and limits of uh, y 0 to a. Obviously, we will solve the integration with respect to x first, then we will go with respect to y. But see, there is no any x. This is completely a function of y. So it's a constant when you solve the inner integration. It will come outside. Let us do 0 to a. It's a constant will come outside a square minus y square raised to 3 by 2. So inside the integration, we have this just dx only. Let me write here dx with limit 0 to root a square minus y square and integration with respect to y. So let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write. Okay, so this is equal to integration 0 to a so that a square minus y square raised to 3 by 2. Integration of dx is x, x, upper li lower limit 0, upper limit root a square minus y square dy. 0 to a, a square minus y square. Let us put upper limit and lower limit at a place of x. Upper limit is a square minus y square. See, root is there. That root is nothing but raised to 1 by 2. Lower limit is 0. So if I put 0, we will have 0. So no need to write dy. So this is equal to 0 to a. See, fortunately, we have got same brackets. Okay, a square minus y square, a square minus y square. And there is multiplication. So you can add powers. So 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 dy. 0 to a, a square minus y square. 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2, 2 dy. See, after that, we have to solve the integration. But see, we have y square inside and again bracket square. So we need to expand the bracket first. I hope you are familiar with this formula. Uh, so where is a, here? a plus minus b bracket square formula, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this formula I'm going to use to expand the bracket and then we will solve the integration. Okay, make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let us expand that bracket with the help of this bracket square formula. So a square square, that means a raised to 4 minus 2. Product of these two ter terms, that means a square y square plus square of y square, which is y raised to 4 dy. So let us integrate. We can integrate separately, getting? But see, I am doing directly here. Addition subtraction is there, so separate, separate integration. We are solving it in our mind and directly write the answer. a raised to 4. a raised to 4 is a constant. Integration of dy is y minus 2a square is a constant. Simply, we have to integrate y square, whose integration is y cube by 3. I am using this formula. Integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Using this formula, we get y cube by 3 plus integration of y raised to 4 is y raised to 5 by 5, 0 to a. Let us put the upper limit. I am putting a here, a raised to 4 into a, a raised to 5, minus 2a square. I am putting a here, a cube by 3, 
a raised to 5 by 5. If I put 0, we will have 0 definitely getting uh, c. So that's why I'm skipping that step or you can simply write minus 0. Everywhere we will have 0. a raised to 5 minus 2 by 3 a square into a cube a raised to 5 plus a raised to 5 by 5. Let us take a raised to 5 common 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 a raised to 5. Let me remove this part since we have already written. So we will have some more space to write if required. Okay, let us see. We need to cross multiply 3 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 a raised to 5 using calcium so you can directly solve. huh? But see let me solve here completely. So 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 a raised to 5 again cross multiply 5 plus 3 by 15 a raised to 5. So the answer is 8 a raised to 5 by 15. So this is required answer. Okay. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.